Ladies and gentlemen, the holy package has arrived. This right here encapsulates everything in the whole Pokemon universe. For Insider here, fresh from Japan, is the brand new Pokemon card set featuring the god of the Pokemon universe, Arceus. That is right guys, today we're opening up the brand new Pokemon card set, Star Birth, which actually came out in Japan about a week ago, and it is so popular. It might be because there's freaking five Charizard cards in this one set. And say you don't like Charizard, there's actually a full art golden Arceus. So you guys already know naturally I was on the phone. And oh, we didn't just send you a couple of boxes of the brand new set. We've got some goodies as well. And I think it's clothing. I think it's like a hoodie or something. Because they asked for my clothing size. And the Oh! <laughs> It's none other than a Arceus Diamond and Pearl, I guess, uh, Pokemon hoodie? I don't know if that's celebrating the new game coming out or the games that have come out, but either way, that is awesome. And then on the inside, it's like yellow and it has a Pokemon logo right there. You guys already know, but if you ever want to buy brand new Japanese booster boxes or whatever, literally brand new, Arceus infused, Charizard encapsulated, Starbirth set. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are ready just like me right now. Let's get into our very first ever booster pack of this brand new set. This is a huge moment all the time. You don't know what you're going to get. Now, we'll just... I don't know if we'll do a card trick because, you know what? Japan's been a bit all over the shop with the card tricks recently. And let's have a look at this brand new 2022 artwork on the brand new set. Pimplop looking good in the snowstorm right there. We've got Sigalith and then a Hollow Lucario on the very first booster. And looks like it's a regular set where it's one from the back. So this is like pretty good because in Japan, not even guaranteed a regular rare. If you buy one individual booster, you could just get an uncommon card. I know they literally define the definition of hashtag wrecked when you open up booster packs. And as well, if you do use my discount code and buy a box of this brand new set, guys, please, when you're trimming the tops off, don't trim half the booster and then tweet me saying, Ando, I trimmed half my cards in half. It's all your fault. Just be careful. I just I get too many of those tweets. So please, if you're opening Japanese sets with scissors, be careful. Feel where the cards are. Trust me, that speed, like where I speed up me opening the packs, it takes me like five minutes because I don't want to damage any of the cards and... I hate for so many people to always do that, but we got Cast Form, we got Dust Skull, and we got a Muck. Although it kind of looks like a Grimer, but it looks like an angry Muck, I guess. The artwork's really cool, and a lot of people are really excited about the brand new artwork in this set. And I think they're really excited because it's not like, because there's five Charizards, you'd think everyone's chasing the Charizard. I mean, Uncle Ando included, I would die for the Rainbow Rare V-Star Charizard, and also the old art version. Look at this. Tell me the artwork is not on fleek for this set. Oh man, demolish the like button because I would love to do a massive opening. It's back-to-back -back bangers on this set. Holy Aunt Jemima, and we go and get a holo as well. This is what I'm talking about. So yeah, I think a lot of people are excited about the Charizard and the alt arts, right? But you've got Arceus coming as a gold card, coming as an alternate art, which just is a spicy McDougal. And then you got random, like Luminion has a uh, alt art as well. So, really good selection. Hopefully, we can get some really nice pulls today. I'm curious, I reckon it's going to be one ultra rare pull per box. Whether it be a rainbow rare, special art, you don't know till you get it. And let's give it a right old go. What do you guys think of this? Are you really excited? This will come out in English next month. So, if you're not a big fan of the Japanese... Holy smokes, it's Chimchar! Look at it! The hollows look really, really good! I don't know how to put it, but the artwork, is that... I was like, is that a rock or a Pokemon? You could play the game show. But yeah, if you're not a fan of the Japanese cards, don't worry, it's coming out in English next month, because I know not everyone collects these, but... For me, I have a Japanese binder and an English one all the time. Let's go one from the back. And Japanese cards sometimes have a little bit better quality. So, hopefully... We don't have any print lines in our ultra rare today. Another common, and are we gonna get? There we go, we're hit with that uncommon right there. Man, all right Luxoray, you go to the back. Let's go one, and hopefully it's gonna be something good. I'd also love a V-Star pull, because I haven't seen a V-Star in person, and that's the brand new card. Oh! 
It's none other than a whimsical as the first V-Star pull of the box. What do you guys think? That is ridiculous artwork and it's got texture on it. You guys feeling that? Or are you guys like seeing that? I know you can't feel it. What am I saying? Look at that. Look at that texture. Yo, this is my first ever V-Star. <laughs> It sort of just hit me and I didn't really realize, but this is our first ever V-Star pull of the channel. So, turns out V-Stars have a lot of texture on them. It's kind of like a V-Max, but I suppose it's a little bit better. Because apparently the deal with a V-Star pull, or a uh, card, when you play in a tournament, you can only use the attack once per game, and that's it. So it's a very OP attack, I'm pretty sure. Look at that though, that's not a bad way to start. And V-Star? It's not even the ultra of the box, so don't even worry. That's what I like to see, just as I thought of it. I like, yep, there's V-Stars, which is probably the main attraction of the set. Besides the uh, chase cards, we managed to get one. Now, I'm curious if we're going to get a second V-Star, or if that's going to be it. Not a bad one, though. Look at that Burmy doing his thing. Whoa, trainer cameos. Not a ridiculous amount of trainers in the set, either. It's actually probably more Pokemon than there is trainers to get as the Ultra Rares, which is always nice. Lapras doing its thing. Love the artwork, Clefairy. And then... Oh my goodness! Are you serious? Are you... The one trainer. Literally, guys, the one trainer you want to get in this set. It's Waifu Cynthia. Holy Aunt Jemima in West Virginia. Demolish the like button. I reckon my luck's on fleek with this. Look at that! Cynthia, full art. Is it secret rare? I think it is. Yeah, 114 out of 100. Secret rare. That's the definition of a spicy McDougal, guys. I don't even know if we can pull like a past sale up, but I reckon it's because Cynthia always so expensive. <gasps> what the fuck? We didn't even open the second pile yet. Okay, this is great, but I reckon we can still pull a regular Charizard card. I don't think we can pull the full art, and random Arceus gold card should be randomly inserted as well. Cynthia Banger, that's how we start off the opening. Let's put you at the back. Okay, I'm gonna leave the chair at the back, guys. It's gonna be upside down. RIP the chair, leave a hashtag in the comment section. We got five packs to go of the left-hand side. Got a uh, water bottle right there. And there, I love this artwork. Anyone else, Monferno? <gasps> don't you dare play, okay. All right, is Thunderous in the set? Can I please ask one thing? If Thunderous is in the set, we're buying another 50 boxes as a case. Imagine the scenes. We got Tornadus, coming as an uncommon. Did they dare bless me like that? Come on, that would be awesome. Now, I kinda just want a Charizard V-Star. I don't even want the rare version, just give me the regular. Oh, Moltres! The artwork that was on the side of the box, guys. Looks pretty good. Okay, Legendary Bird randomly in there. Legendary birds have been getting so much love recently. Got those all arts and chilling rain. Now they're coming back as the holo cards. Fourth to last pack, guys. Oh, Cynthia full art. What the heck? Okay. Is that is that like Pokemon abuse? Using its tail to dust up things around the house? Common. And then that uncommon to finish it off. Okay. Third to last. Come on, V-Star pull. Magma. And then, oh, sorry, Magmortor, and then Shroomish, followed up by a Raichu. Raichu's very big in the set, so I think it's got a full art card and all that. I'll take it. Random insertion of Raichu, but one of my favorite Pokemon ever, Pikachu. You gotta have the Raichu in there. And it's a regular v pool. We actually haven't got a v pool yet, so put you at the back. And this is gonna be the second to last pack. Very, very good ratio. As I said, don't think we're getting another full art, but we could do. Things could get crazy, especially when we get a hit that early on. Tropius! That's so random. 110 HP. And this is going to be the final pack. One from the back. Can we do it? Cynthia regular version. Got the uncommon. Sneasel. And Riolu followed up by Garchomp as the holo. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just quickly get my chair. Alrighty guys, let's do it. Let's demolish the last half of this uh, Star Birth booster box. And then if you're really excited, let's do a search for the Charizard tomorrow where I open up my final three. We keep opening, like we'll open the booster boxes, but we'll keep opening the boosters until I find Charizard. And then the moment we find Charizard, whether it be maybe a full art or better, or maybe until we find Arceus, I'll give the rest of the packs away. If you like that idea, let me know down below. But we're going to start with those double energies. Beautiful magma. And then 
What? Bin Barrel? Okay. He's just hoarding logs. He's like, been caught paparazzi style. You're like, bruh, they got me again. He can't be hoarding logs just like you hoard toilet paper. Not on, buddy. Okay, one from the back. And let's try and get something spicy up the right-hand side. I really do believe it is possible. I have seen good ratios out of these things. Whoa. That's a terrifying art of heat ran. Love the art. I'm sorry, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea to love the art. I think people just enjoy ripping packs open and finding the ultra rares, but for me, I've been like, this is my 10th anniversary on YouTube, been collecting for so long now that I think when there's different art that stands out, I really do appreciate it. Empoleon's looking spicy. Is that a print line right there? Maybe. A bit weird to have a print line on a uh, Japanese holo. Usually they're pretty good. Let's go one, let's keep it moving. I'd love to know everyone's favorite card out the set though. Granted, probably Rainbow Rare Charizard's a big fan favorite, all that old art. But Golden Arceus is something else. Even the old, like, alternate art Arceus is awesome. A lot of people love that Ultra Ball Fuller gold card too. Can we get something? We got Turtwig and a Professor. Looking strong. This sort of gets me excited as well, and they know what they did. They released this a week before the game, or two weeks before the game came out. So you got the Arceus game coming out, like, next week. And like you're getting pumped up by opening up these cards. I thought it was perfect, so it might be perfect timing, I suppose. If you order a box now, it would probably arrive with your game. So you could be playing the video game, and then you'd be able to rip open a couple of packs of this, which I think Pokemon knew. Like, that's how they released it. Let's see what we got. Chimchar right there, and then Groto. Oh my goodness! I don't know if this is a good pull, but it is V-Star Arceus. Wow! It's got the texture! Unreal! What a box, guys! If you're gonna get the mascot, you might as well get Arceus, right? Holy Aunt Jemima in West Virginia! That is incredible! Dude, this isn't even the ultra rare of the box Cynthia was. Oh my gosh! This is crazy! Okay, V-Star Arceus. If the border blends into the card so much, doesn't it? It almost looks like it's like miscut or like something because all that blends together, but this is unreal. I love that these have texture on there. It feels a little bit more special than a VMAX pool. I mean, this is gonna be a hot competition. What do you think's better, V-Star or VMAX? I don't know. All right, Clefable, you go to the side. Bouncoy, Breloom, which probably means Flygon's in the set if Breloom's there. Don't know. Shroomish as well. There's a lot of cool Pokemon in this thing, and it's a hundred cards big too. Whoa! Pontro, what are you doing, buddy? Okay, rock it up in this set too. Looking good as a V card. Man, ratios are on point. Like, they're not too bad, but they're not great. So they can feel good when you get a good pull. Put that V at the back, and we are on the final five. The thing with the Japanese packs, not only having five cards each, is they fly really, really quickly. Let's see what we can't get. Dust Skull, and another... <laughs> It's the weirdest Burmy art I've ever seen. Four to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the home run. We've had a fantastic box right now, but we can probably do better with the other three as well. Riolu, and then... I knew it! I knew Flygon had to be in the set. Like, the only reason they ever put Breloom in there is to be able to set up Flygon really well. Beautiful. God, I'm not even mad at any of these V-Pulls right now. All the cards are sticking to me. Okay, it's boiling hot in Australia, which I think is a big contrast to like a lot of America. It's snowing a fair bit, isn't it? Like crazy weather. Let me know what country you're in and what the weather's like, but in Australia, boiling hot. I think it's 40 degrees Celsius today where I live. One from the back. This is the second to last booster. Can we get something good? Please. If Golden Arceus is randomly inserted, you'll witness Ando poop his pants live on YouTube in front of 100,000 people. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> I'm not going to poo my pants over like a whimsy card, but I'll take another V-card any day of the week. I reckon this is going to be the final poll, but let's have a look at what's in that very last booster. Is it miscut? Why does it feel like it's more leaning towards this way? Probably because the way the artwork is. Okay, final pack. What does everyone reckon? Can I get some, can I get some predictions? One. If it's gold, as I said, this is going to be crazy. We're going to muck. And then, come on. So oh, it's gonna be a regular rare Golurk, but that's all right. Let's have a recap of our first Starbirth booster box. 
and super quickly, before we get into the recap, Pokey Japan, it like, looks like they went shopping at the Pokemon Center, right? And uh, they bought the jumper for me, but it, they also bought, I guess it's like a blind box, but they kind of give it away on the front of Raihan and Leon minifigs, which we could probably put at the back. This is pretty cool. I don't know, they're really miniature. Look at them, that's sick. <laughs> they're really cute. It's like a bit bigger than a Lego minifigure, I guess. This one's gonna be awesome. Leon, let's have a look. Oh my gosh. It is much better than I thought. Look at him. Kinda like a lot of detail. I tell you what, if I lived in uh, Tokyo, and it would be broke. I'd be living in a cardboard box, but that cardboard box would be filled with Pokemon stuff. But that's enough daydreaming for one day, guys. Let's have a recap of this absolutely epic Starbirth Booster Box. Now, out of one box, this is roughly the ratio to expect right here. Absolutely gorgeous selection of not only Pokemon, like Lucario and a bunch of starters, but you've also got a good lot of trainers, professors as well. It's a really, really nice cross-section. A couple of wide-eyed, shocked-looking Pokemon, like the barrel right there. Then we got Moltres. Then the V-Cards. Like, they're not even that bad either. Raichu and Whimsicott got that beautiful Flygon. And then, are you ready for this one? Couple of gorgeous looking V-Stars. I think this is a really good introduction to V-Stars. And including the Charizard, it just adds that extra incentive. But I will take the Arceus any day of the week. Holy Archimime, I can't believe this. Like, not only did we get the V-Star Arceus today, guys, but check this out. We got Cynthia as well. What is going on? Now, demolish the like button if you want to see the other three boxes, like these puppies right here, all be opened on the channel and potentially give it away to a lucky comment left in the comment section. I would love to know. But most of those guys, what do you think of the guys? You got to keep on gaming. All right, guys, till the next Charizard poll, which hopefully is tomorrow. I'll see you then.